This time on Jury Reviews, how to replace your blower motor and your air conditioning. This time on Jury Reviews, stay tuned. Hey guys, so today is going to be another how-to video. And again, I'm going based on what I know, what I've read, things like that. And also I had AC repair guy come out and tell me what's wrong. So that, uh, that helps exactly, kind of know exactly what's wrong. So in my, uh, my air handler here, it's about seven years old, it's a train unit, and I started to hear some rumbling, some rattling, and it was the blower motor. I could tell immediately just by kind of looking at it, listening to it, feeling the unit itself, it was, it was shaking, it was rattling around. And uh, the first thing you want to check is the actual blower, the blower blades to see if there's anything in them. Uh, and I went ahead and I already checked that. Um, and honestly, my my blower fins are all clean. Um, and again, what I mean by that is these guys right here. Okay, so these guys right here on mine, they're all pretty clean. There's uh, there's nothing in it. And again, if your unit was really really dirty, you'd see pretty much immediately, uh, you know, something in there. Um, so then the next logical thing uh, would be the actual motor itself. And just as an FYI, <laughs> so I got the, the AC guy to come out, the AC repair guy to come out. He wanted, he quoted me $1,300 to replace this guy right here because he said it was some fancy motor, some, you know, train complicated uh, motor. So basically, he left, he put this thing back in, he put the cover back on there, he left and he said, oh, I'll give you a call back tomorrow. A, he didn't call back. Tomorrow, which was yesterday uh, and B I found a replacement on Amazon for $230 uh, it has a lot of good reviews to it and a lot of these apparently are pretty universal and this guy just happens to be an X13 uh, X13 FM 19 there's a whole bunch of uh, these online and then again you also have this very specific specs here the specific part numbers um, and my model right here is going to be the 5SME39HX and then uh, L015A. So that's my part number. Uh, but just know that it's a half horsepower X13 Gen Tech. And a lot of these are Gen Tech. They're all basically made by the same company. It even says the dealer toolbox on it. So I mean, again, it's a pretty universal thing. The AC repair guy made it sound like this was some fancy, special fan motor. So anyway, I went in and ordered it. It'll get here today. So it's only been a, a couple couple days uh, that I haven't had AC, which, it, yes, it sucks. I'm in Florida, but, you know, what are you going to do? So anyway, um, today we're going to go ahead and show you how to take, again, this out. Uh, but before I go into that let's just show you how I got this out of here so on your AC handler here there are six bolts on your AC handler here there's six bolts there's one here 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 and then there's three along the other edge so that's how you take the front panel off and before you really start anything you want to pull this guy out this is the uh, physical disconnect for the unit um, I just put it back in there but anyway make sure your breakers are off too but that's another little um, safety step. So anyway, once the cover's off, you can kind of take a look at things. And uh, I, knew, I knew that it wasn't the compressor or something because it was still blowing out cold air. So it's not that. Um, and then really, to take this blower out, all you gotta do is uh, disconnect these wires. Uh, but again, make sure that when you disconnect these wires, you take a picture of where each of them go. Um, that's vitally important because when we put it back in, we want to make sure you put the wires back in the right place. So all the wires are just kind of hanging right here. So anyway, make sure you take note of where the wires go. And then there's only two bolts. Uh, one right there, one there, and one there. So once you take those two bolts out, basically the whole blower motor just slides right out. And then to get this guy off, there is basically, there's a diff, couple different ways you can do it. You can either A, just um, take that bolt off right there, uh, loosen it, and the motor should come out. Uh, or I've heard, which is a little easier, is to take, just take these three bolts off and the whole thing comes out. But again, you also have to, 
the nut on the other side they said that this I mean depending on how long it's been installed uh, this nut right here you got to take this off the set screw you gotta take the set screw off so you can take the shaft out and again mine does look a little rusty and he said <laughs> most of the time these things are pretty rusty so you might need some sandpaper or something uh, in order to take um, the actual fan blade off of the motor but uh, yeah so today I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that once I get the new um, motor in I'll go ahead and put that in but alright guys so I've got the blower on my garage floor I apologize I do not have any kind of a workbench yet although uh, I do want to get a workbench as soon as possible so really what we got to do again we got to take the motor out of the blower fan itself and in order to do that uh, we have to take off this little retaining pin uh, I'm assuming we're probably gonna need some WD-40 some uh, some oil to get this thing off of here yep, so we'll start with the pin itself um, I think a good pair of uh, vice grips is going to help us with this. So I've got my old trusty, old trusty vice grips here. All right, so then let's uh, let's go ahead and take these three big bolts off. see I did get the new motor um, on Amazon this guy said it was compatible with a whole bunch of different um, HVAC blower units uh, this is an evergreen uh, gen tech and the model number is 5SME 39HX and this happens to be the L447 model however um, they said most of these um, hopefully and again uh, we'll see in a moment but uh, most of these X13s are, are very similar. Uh, half horsepower, 208 to 230 volt. With the use of a hammer and some WD-40, I get the blower motor off of the fan, and you'll see the, that separation here in just a moment. All right, so hear me out. Um, I think if I just keep tapping on it, because uh, it's almost out, the shaft is almost out of there. I basically just need to keep tapping on it and eventually that motor will fall out so I got the trash can under it so at least the the housing is elevated the motor and the mount should just drop right into the trash can yeah there we go I think it, I think it finally just I think it finally just came out or it's really really close I think I can probably just pull it out now, hopefully There it is, there's the old motor. As you can see, it's pretty rusted for where exactly where the fan blade was, but basically we're just gonna take this off, take the belt off, put that on the new one, uh, mount the new one back in there, and then we'll put it back in the, uh, the air handler. So uh, stay tuned. So basically what we're doing right now is we're taking the belt, the quote unquote belt, off of the old motor and putting it on the new motor. Uh, one thing that it recommended was to uh, position the motor exactly like the old motor so I've got the connections right here on the kind of the bottom left just basically take the mount off and stick it on the new one so we'll go ahead and do that move that over just me fiddling with the motor mount and putting it on the new motor uh, from the old motor this entire clip that you're about to see is, <clears throat> again, me putting the motor mount on the motor and then also cleaning the blower fan blades in preparation for reinstallation. All right, so I went ahead and cleaned it the best I could real quick. Um, just make sure that the fan blades, the blower uh, blades are going in the right direction. So the flat part of the shaft. This part of the clip is simply reattaching now the motor mount to the blower fan housing. The three screws go in pretty easily and then we're going to put the shaft into the uh, blower fan itself. We just have to position this as centralized as possible. And what I mean by that is you have to make sure that 
the blower fan is centrally located in the housing. Let's go ahead and kind of tighten it hand, hand tight there. Seems like it would work right there. It is uh, pretty tight. That looks pretty much right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and go back in the house and uh, put this baby in. All right, guys. Just to uh, show you one more quick time, uh, I actually had to reposition the motor because the connections were down here on the bottom. So basically, I just unscrewed these three, just rotated it once, so that way the wire connections are here. Uh, because the wires dangle down right here, so obviously that could not reach the bottom of the motor. So I put them back up here. So now all we're really going to be doing is putting it back in the unit and uh, <laughs> pray that it works. That's oh, some bloody knuckles for you. Yeah, so basically we're just going to slide this puppy back um, on the track in here. And then there's these two bolts. Right, one right there and one right there. So you're going to put those two back on. And remember, before you disconnect these, make sure you take note of where all the wires go on the motor, so that way you know exactly where they go. Um, and then reattach the front panel and pray to God it works. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do right now. This clip is just me sliding the assembly back into the air handler. So as you can see, again, taking those good detailed pictures is super useful. So I've got one side, and then I also have the other side as well, specifically where each color goes into the motor. So I'll go ahead and attach the wires now. All right, I got all the wires all good to go. Uh, just in my case, just if you're curious, I have red going to three, blue wire going to four. I have the white to C, black to L, green uh, to G. There is a G back there. And then the uh, the last wire, which is purple, goes to N. So that's that's how mine's wired. Again, yours might be different, but that is, uh, like I said, how mine is wired. So what do I do? Do I put the cover on and try it for good luck to just be faithful that I did it correctly? Or do I leave the cover off and test it? Um, I don't know. I'm feeling like I can probably just put the cover back on and it'll work i'm hoping that's uh i'm hoping that's the end result so i'm gonna put the cover back on and we'll test it out all right guys moment of truth here you turn it on we'll see what happens i think it's running the the diagnostic cycle here It sounds like, it sounds good to me. <laughs> well guys, that's how to repair an AC blower motor in your train AC air handler. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care, bye-bye.